Dear children, we have studied different natural resources. In that, first of all we have studied air, then we have studied water. Now today, we will focus on land. Land is very important natural resource. Children, you know that land is not same everywhere. It is not flat everywhere. Somewhere it is flat, whereas somewhere it is hilly. The all terrestrial animals, they live on land. Some animals, they dig burrows in the land and they find shelter there. They fulfill their needs there. All terrestrial animals including human beings, they also find uh, their shelter on the land. We uh, fulfill our basic needs, food, clothes and shelter. Roti, kapda or makan, anna vastra ani nivara. All these basic needs, they are fulfilled by the plants that grow on land. Also, the animals, they are, they are also very important. And these animals, they give us leather, they give us flesh, they give us meat. And in this way, they are used for so many purposes. Also, we can get medicinal plants on the land. In this way, these are the treasures for us. Children, now we will study the important layers of the land. While studying layers of the land, first of all, children, I will tell you one activity to you. If you see the work of pipeline that is being done in your surroundings, in your neighborhood, you go there and you have to observe it. What you will see there? You will see the different layers of land there prominently. Also, if there is a well being dug in your farm or in your neighborhood at any place, you can visit that place, you can observe the layers of land there also. In this way, uh, we, have, we have to see these layers of land in this diagram. See, the topmost layer of land is humus. This layer of land is humus and it is very very important layer. Now what is the definition of humus? Humus is the topmost layer of soil. So the definition is the topmost layer of soil formed by the decomposition of remains of plants and animals is called humus. And the plants and animals, when they die, when they now, when the leaves of the plants, they shed, they shed, they are shed and then when they are, are accumulated or collected on the ground, they get buried in that ground and because of that, there is decomposition of those plant materials as well as dead animals and after decomposition, of them by the microorganisms, what happens? The remains are be, uh, given behind and these remains they form humus. This layer is formed in the dense forest and what? why it is so important? Because it supplies nutrients to the soil. Our soil it has so many nutrients and from where does it get nutrients? It gets nutrients from this layer of humus. Also it is very important for aerating the soil. It aerates the soil and for holding the soil. It holds the soil because the roots, the pla plants, they are having roots and when these roots grow in the soil, that soil is hold by these roots also. And if it makes the soil good and fertile. In the mature, good fertile soil, what is the proportion of humus? The proportion of humus is 33 to 50 percent. 50 percent of that soil contains humus. In this way, humus is very important layer. Next to that, there is the layer of soil and immature soil. 
This immature soil, what is the definition of immature soil? The layer of land full of sand, small rocks, then soil, insects and microbes. These are present in this immature soil. In this, the proportion of soil is more. But next to that, there is layer of bedrock. Layer of soil and small rocks and layer of bedrock. This, uh, next to this immature soil, the proportion of soil decreases and proportion of big, uh, big rocks that increases. Small rocks and big rocks. The proportion of rocks is more in this layer. Now, in the, at the bottom of the land, there are big bedrocks. And these big, big bedrocks, they are also very important dear children. Why? Because the minerals, the main minerals in the soil, they are derived from these bedrocks. That's why they are very important. And we know that the soil in different regions is different. In Rajasthan, it is different. In uh, uh, our Maharashtra, it is different. It is different in different regions. Its color is different. Somewhere it is red. Somewhere it is black. Somewhere its texture is different. It is uh, clay soil. At some, place it, at some places it is sandy soil. Like this, the land, it is different from, uh, it is different at different region. So, the color as well as texture of the soil, it is also determined by bedrock. That's why the layer of bedrock is very, very important here. In this way, uh, also we get the minerals as well as crude oil, natural gas, a petrol, diesel from the uh, bottom of the land, from the layers of the land. So, we have studied the different layers of land and their importance in this unit. Now, we will see the process of soil formation in detail. And dear students, I have also brought a, a small miniature of these layers of land. See, in this transparent bottle, you can see the layers, the different layers. See, this is the layer of bedrock. Big rocks are there. Then next to that, small rocks and soil is there. Then immature soil is there. It contains rocks, stones, soil, sand, and uh, microbes and insects. Also, there is the topmost layer and it is formed by the remains of plants and animals. And that layer is called? Yes, correct, humus. In this way, I have explained, tried to explain the different layers of plant. Thank you.